Koopa Loopas. Okay. I'm going to do a real quick mini read. Um, I don't think, you know, there has been drastic, drastic change, but um, a nice shift, right? Especially with um, Venus trying Jupiter this weekend. It's like feeling the love. Could be friends, anything. Um, and that happened to come up in weekend energy as as well. Okay, I had to check on Sheldon, who's on the floor, <laughs> putzing around. Um, but I do feel a little bit of a shift, so that's nice. That's a nice. And and um, what's I gonna say? Can't remember. Don't get like overwhelmed. You know what I mean. Um, if someone wants to come in and apologize, let them apologize. I feel like it's more friends, family, not necessarily lovers. Uh, could be though, right? But it is that time of like reaching out and letting go. And I think a lot of people think that's way too many. That is because everyone's at home and bored. Not, not necessarily. Not for like the next four days. It's not. This is all about. Venus rules everything. It's the planet of, of finances, love, friendships, home, wealth, health, you name it, right? So it's just be aware if somebody reaches out, okay? Um, whether they're important right now or they were at one point, some people are going to want to reconnect, okay? So it's just a homey, comfy feeling, So you got the six of pence. So that's that's balance. Okay, you may be dealing with a king of swords. Could be a father figure. Could be a male in your life. I can't imagine that's a woman coming in in masculine energy wanting to apologize or rekindle a friendship or anything like that. Not coming in as the king of swords, right? So to me, the king of swords would be more of your probably dealing, speaking of an Aquarius, somebody in Aquarian energy and you know ironically enough Aquarius does rule you know partnerships friendships community okay so moving forward reaching out letting the past go trying to balance out a situation again so that's nice it doesn't have to be an Aquarius sun moon rising nothing like that troops it speaks of the house and what the house represents and speaking of home this is cancer cancer rules the home okay so this is this is nice this balance somebody might be at a distance it's been a while could be foreign lands it could be um via internet talking about certain stuff um you could be redecorating your home you could be refurbishing furniture you know you could be restoring something I just said that um I'm really feeling you know stuff like that which would make sense crafty stuff too or painting you know stuff stuff like that um or this person could be a little bit at a, at a distance they could be driving to go see you or, or traveling I, I just think that's slim right now considering the circumstances of what's going on in the world but you never know Someone could be traveling for work, you know, or, you know, you could be making plans to come see each other, maybe in three weeks, something like that. April is very important, guys. I've been saying that to my crew for a very long time now. April is going to be crazy, but it's going to be great. I'm excited. I've been telling you guys for months I can't wait for April. <laughs> A lot of you are going to have that past returning to in April. We've talked about it, the catalyst, whether you wanted to show up or not. And then we got the Princess of Cups. So you're liking what you're hearing. You're liking what you're talking about. You're feeling it. You're trying to ground a situation. There's clear communication. You're dealing with somebody who definitely knows how to communicate. 
So let's go one more row and find out what's next regarding all this. So six of pence, what's next with this transit? With this transit, with this transit. So I'm guessing, you know, this energy is going to be around for a good four days. So it is it is Venus trying Jupiter. We love Venus and Jupiter. Jupiter expands everything and gives gifts, right? And this is all about gift giving. We've been working with Mars energy a lot, Aries. For like the last month, it's just been bam in our face, right? So don't forget, Mars is still in the picture. But and be careful, be careful with what you're eating too, with Jupiter being here. Okay, um, snacks. Don't be snacking like nuts. <laughs> Natalie's texting me. I haven't talked to her in a while. Um, but this is this is definitely a gift. Okay, this is a new opportunity, giving you time. It looks like this energy is using their intuition. I right now. <laughs> um, turn off my ringer. Shout out to Natalie. Um, so this energy is using your intuition. Uh, this is saying you, you know, you use your intuition. Maybe they're reaching out to Pisces. Tell me about the chariot. So this is that's it. Next four days. Next seven days, six, seven. Now you got seven twice. Confident, resilient, stands firm in their morals, feeling good, alluring energy, beautiful energy. It's got their shit together energy. So you could be dealing with a cancer who's single. Okay, this is just saying, you know, moving past the past, moving forward. Your your future's here. It looks like you you like it. My hands were just about to I just had to control my hands. I don't know what that's regarding. They just got wicked shaky. So I don't know if there's some nervousness going on. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Two of Wands. So yeah. Wanting to go in a new direction. Possibly talking about a new direction. Traveling in a new direction. Picking a new road. Okay, especially with these these two, you could actually physically be moving in the month of July or within two months, five months. It's whatever is whatever this is regarding to you. Okay, and then you got the moon. So again, Cancer Pisces energy and it's still kind of unknown. It's in the air. It's mysterious. It's nice. It's it's good energy. Okay. I just want to clarify the moon. Can you tell me anything about the moon? Anything about the moon? Nyla is dying to get in this bedroom because of Sheldon is on the floor. The bottom of the deck is the eight of wands. So communication, possibly, or travel. Um, this does have to do with a masculine energy so you could be dealing with a, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio Sun Aquarius Moon this could be the arising it, it really just depends on how you want to um, perceive this whom you're dealing with okay but to me it's you know the Aquarius energy too with with um or this actually, it could be somebody's Pluto placement. To be honest with you, you could be, or this could be you having a Pluto. Well, everyone has a Pluto placement, but you could have Aquarius and Pluto. Okay, but to me, it's you know Aquarius energies, community, partnerships, friendships. Okay, so that's kind of that's kind of what's going down. It's going down, and Venus is nice energy. Again, just be careful what you eat, um, how you're exploring something. Um, because Jupiter definitely likes to expand that waistline, and I don't, I have no idea why it's bringing it to my attention like that. Okay, so make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Okay, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. <laughs> Where are you going? Look at the little Sheldon. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. 
So, I love you guys. We'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Oh, he's stepping on my... <laughs>